Hello everybody once again, Alias here. I know that this video and literally any possible video that could have popped up on my channel is very long overdue, it's been more than three weeks, but trust me when I say there's a reason behind this. I have been very busy with life. Just last weekend, for example, I've gone to Greece and I did a lot of Greek things, but now I'm once again back in front of your screen, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So as much as I've been noticing, you guys have been begging me to make the third part of the series where I jump over spikes, and here we are, this is it, this is the video. Today we will be testing how far I can jump with the UFO game mode on every possible speed. Right, so I can't really find the level where I've been testing this. I'm gonna have to make a new one for that matter. Don't question my randomness. Okay, we've got everything set up. Let's begin the experiment. First, I'll have to put a disclaimer here. The UFO game mode does not work like every other game mode that I've tested so far. There's no way for me to pull off the hold to jump strategy because that's not how the game mode works. So I'm gonna have to determine how long it can jump with sheer skill, which is not what I have the most of. That means that the results in this video might be inaccurate, so if you end up doing this experiment yourself and pull off a longer jump than me, please don't judge me. The first thing that I've got planned for today is the UFO game mode with half speed. Right, so I have no idea how to set this up. Since the UFO's jumps are that much lighter than any other game modes, I'm gonna use flat spikes instead of regular ones, because it literally cannot jump over the tall spike. First, let's try three spikes. And obviously, I'm able to jump past three spikes. I think I can widen it by at least a tiny bit. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. Okay, can the UFO jump past this at half speed? Yes, since three spikes, eight spaces is possible, I'm gonna have to expand it even further. Nine, 10, 11, 12. This looks like it could be the limit to UFO at half speed. Let's try it out. Okay, it's still doable, I thought it wasn't, but I kept going. And luckily I didn't give up on it, because if I did, people would have very easily disproven me. That did feel like the limit though, so I'm only gonna expand it by one. Three spikes and 13 spaces. Okay, 30 attempts have gone by, and I still haven't been able to pull off the victorious jump, so I'm gonna stop here and say the limit is three spikes and 12 spaces. Alright, let's move on to the next speed. The next speed is the normal, the regular, the one speed that has a lot of names. And I think I'll go ahead and place five spikes as the start. Actually, that might be an exaggeration. Let's do four spikes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. I think this looks doable at one speed. Right, let's try it out. Yeah, very much doable. I under-exaggerated it greatly. 8, 9, 10, 11. I think 11 might be the limit. This looks like it's very close to it. So, 4 spikes, 11 spaces. Is this still possible? Okay, looks like it's still doable. Now we got 4 spikes, 11 spaces, and we can expand it by a tiny bit. 13, 14, 15. I think this is the limit to how far the UFO can jump at one speed. 4 spikes, 15 spaces. Is it possible or not? Let's see. Okay, I think I exaggerated a tiny bit because this definitely does not seem possible. Because there are times when it looks possible, when it seems like it could be possible if I timed it really well, but this time it's just not true. Okay, so 15 is too much. Let's do 14, 13. We know 11 can be done, but can 13 be done? Time to find out. Okay, 29 attempts have gone by. I've been trying to pull this off, and I think it's very close to possible. However, I'll pull the slim chance here and say that it's not. Maybe it's possible on a different frame rate, but this, I don't think this could be done on 144 Hz. Right, so 13 is not possible, 11 is possible. Let's see if the limit to how far the UFO can jump on one speed is 4 spikes and 12 spaces. And I first tried it. Now we can determine that the limit to how far the UFO can jump on one speed is 4 spikes and 12 spaces. I hope that my discoveries serve a good purpose. Please don't put this at the end of your levels. If you do, you're a monster. Alright, let's move on to the next speed and cause more future UFO deaths. Next is the double speed. On half speed, I could do 312. On four speed, I could do 412. So I'm gonna go ahead and try 512 on this speed. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Looks like a decent challenge. I wonder if it's possible. Let's find out. And turns out it was. I didn't even have to spend 30 attempts like usually. Okay, I feel more confident with the double speed now that I've seen this result. And I'm gonna go ahead and try six spikes. The UFO can jump really far with double speed, but does that mean this far? I'm interested now. Let's see it. 
come on, this has to be doable. There's no way it's not. I refuse to believe that the UFO cannot jump over six bikes at double speed. I refuse. In my universe, this is not how it ends. This is unbelievable. Okay, turns out the UFO at double speed cannot jump over six bikes. To my huge disappointment, I'm gonna have to shrink the space. One spike is equal to 15 spaces, so if I move it one space to the left, that means that we're dealing with five spikes and 14 spaces right now. I'm pretty sure the UFO can make it past this, but just in case, let's try it out. And I've done it. To my big disappointment, the UFO sadly cannot jump over six spikes. However, it can jump past five spikes and 14 spaces. That's the third limit that we've discovered in this video. We've got two more. Let's move to the next speed. One before the last speed is the triple one. At this point, we're getting into the big league, so I'm gonna increase the spike count by two. Might be an exaggeration, but alas, we have to try it. Triple speed UFO versus eight spikes. Let's see the result. Yeah, I greatly over-exaggerated this. Seven spikes. Doable or not, let's see. Okay, turns out seven spikes was possible for the triple speed UFO, and that means I can finally start expanding my spikes again. Seven spikes and two spaces. How far can we expand this until the UFO can no longer jump over it? Let's see if this is the limit. Turns out it wasn't quite the limit yet, the UFO can still jump over it. One more space, we're now dealing with seven spikes and three spaces. This looks possible, but barely. I wonder if it actually is. Okay, let's see the results. Still not the limit. Seven spikes, four spaces. I think I should stop doing the intro. Let's get straight into the experiment. Okay, even that is still doable. I did not imagine that we would have pushed the limit this far, but seems like we have. Seven spikes, five spaces. Is this possible or have we finally reached the limit? I feel like I must say that, with all due respect, seven spikes, four spaces is the limit to how far the UFO can jump at triple speed. Now there's none left but the final speed. Let's move on and see what the ultimate limit to how far the UFO can jump really is. Here we go, the last speed, the quadruple speed, the one that we all love, hate, adore, despise. We're ready for the final test. So we've just had seven spikes. I think we can expand that to one more. And if I look at the previous results, it should be able to at least make it past eight spikes and five spaces. How far off from the ultimate jumping limit of the UFO are we? Let's find out. Seems like eight spikes, five spaces is still possible on four speed. I'm gonna go ahead and say we can do two more spaces. So that's eight spikes and seven spaces. Is this the ultimate limit to how far the UFO can possibly jump? It's still not. How far ahead am I going to push this? Let's increase it by two more spaces. So that's eight spikes and nine spaces for the four speed UFO. Is this actually possible? It is still possible. This is even surprising for me, guys. I thought that we would have stopped at like eight spikes, five spaces, but apparently we've pushed it up to nine and it's still possible to jump even further. This is insane. Eight, 12 should really not be possible anymore. Eight spikes and 12 spaces. Can you imagine a UFO having to jump over an eight spike jump and it actually makes it? Well, apparently this is what this game is now. So eight spikes, 12 spaces, possible or not? Let's figure it out. Are you actually serious right now? The UFO can still jump over 8 spikes in 12 spaces. That's literally almost 9 spikes. Why is it always the quadruple speed that surprises me that much? It happens in every single video. Okay, let's end this. 8 spikes, 13 spaces. I feel like this really, 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 really shouldn't be possible anymore. Is this the ultimate limit or am I going to have to keep on testing? Let's do this. I... I... I actually cannot believe my eyes right now. Eight spikes, 13 spaces is still possible. You know what? I'm gonna do something extremely stupid here, and I'm gonna test and see if the UFO can actually jump over nine spikes. Once this test is done, I believe that there is no way that it can possibly make it any further. So this is it. This is the last test that I'm doing. Four speed UFO versus nine spikes. Is this possible?
No way. There is actually no way that the UFO made it past nine entire spikes. I'm just gonna end this here and I'm gonna say this is the ultimate limit to how far the UFO can jump. And that's gonna bring us to the end of this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the third part of this series. If you end up doing this experiment yourself and getting better results than me, again, please don't be judgmental. And if you actually really and truly enjoyed this series, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will do the exact same thing, but with small icons. So again, thanks for sticking by. Make sure not to drop your keys into the sewer and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.